welcome back to my channel. I wanted to introduce you to our new member of our family. This is Piper Ann, and she is adorable. And she is a German short hair pointer, almost 10 weeks old. We got her last week and um, delivered her to pieces. So say hi. Hi. You'll be seeing more of her in my videos and, and all that stuff. So anyway, go play. Anyway. The main reason why I am making this video is to talk to you about um, fats <laughs> and on the keto diet, what kind of fats you should be eating and what type of fats you should be avoiding. Um, just because you're doing the keto diet doesn't mean that you, it's a free for all and you can have all the fats you want and any kinds of fats you want and you can just go crazy on um, eating fats. Yes, fats count for, you know, 65 to 80% of your diet in keto depending on your reasons for doing keto, what your goals are kinda. Um, but there is certain fats that you should eat more of and there are certain fats that you should avoid. A lot of people who do keto, they're their purpose of doing it is to lose fat. Actually, I've been doing more research and I found that if you are trying to lose fat on the keto diet, if you're trying to lose weight, lose fat, if that's your main purpose for doing keto, then actually you don't want to be eating as much dietary fat as maybe some other people are who their, their main goal is uh, therapeutic or something else. You want your body to start tapping into its own fat stores. And it makes perfect sense. If you're trying to lose fat, you're want, you want your body to eat its own fat, not to be eating constantly eating the dietary fat that you consume. So um, I have actually lowered my dietary fat intake and have seen great results. Um, so instead of like 75, 70 to 80%, I lowered it down to like 65% and I ate healthy fats and um, increased my protein a little bit. Hi for this Okay. Um, and been eating tons of vegetables and I've actually been feeling better and having great results. So anyway, I wanted to go over what some good healthy fats are and what are some fats that you should avoid. So if your goal is to, Piper! If your goal is to, for fat loss, to lose fat, I would suggest looking at your macros and maybe lowering your dietary fat intake and seeing if um, that helps you get better results. If you're having trouble like I was and you're hitting a stall or you're um, struggling to lose fat, take a look at your macros and take a look at your fat intake and maybe try to lower it a little bit. Um, and also make sure where your fats are coming from. Okay, so first I'm gonna go over the healthy fats that you can um, absolutely enjoy and these are very good for your body um, and they actually help um, raise your good cholesterol and um, lower your bad cholesterol. So the first healthy fat that I want to talk to you about is MCT oil. Um, now I wrote out some notes. I always like to do this when I make a video so I don't end up rambling on and on but my notes here just in case you see things flying around. So, first thing I wanna talk about is MCT oil. Um, this stuff is the like most popular keto oil. It's what you hear all over the place when you're making your bulletproof coffee and all that stuff, and for good reasons. MCT oil, it stands for medium cha chain triglyceride, and it's derived from coconut oil, um, but is very, um, very awesome. It's more quickly burned and um, metabolized than um, other oils. So it is more quickly released as energy. So you will feel um, almost like immediate energy when you start consuming MCT oil, MCT oil. And I definitely did when I started using this in my bulk of coffee. I felt like I was more focused and I had more mental clarity and I didn't get tired as much and it just helped me feel um, better and um, definitely have more energy. It also is known to help boost fat burning, um, mental clarity like I said, and it is um, more quickly released as energy than say coconut oil or olive oil or other oils. So definitely check MCT oil out. Um, 
I am going to be posting a link of where you can buy all these things in the description box. So if you don't have some of these, you can get some for yourself. So end tutorial is awesome. Okay. Oof, I like just ate and I got the burps. Okay. The next one is coconut oil. This is also a very popular oil for keto. Um, and like I said, you know, keto, I think, I don't know, I think some bad, like some myths have gotten out there and, and people are being strayed to, to a different type of keto, a different way of eating keto. And I wanna make sure that we all um, refocus and make sure that we are eating the right things on keto for the you know best results possible so anyway okay enough of that coconut oil um this is got tons of amazing benefits and if you look coconut oil up on the internet there i mean it is the cure-all for everything i even use this as a face wash and a makeup remover on my skin every night i rub coconut oil all over my face and then I get hot water and I soak a rag with warm water put it on my skin and I wipe off all my makeup it's amazing for makeup remover and it leaves your skin super soft and I've noticed clear skin since using coconut oil on my face and um, I have been acne prone for my whole life like like very much have struggled with acne and coconut oil has been a lifesaver for me so it's very good for skin, hair, nails, um, that, that sort of thing. So it's known to increase your good cholesterol and lower your bad cholesterol. Awesome. And it's super, super good for your heart. Helps improve your digestion, which is awesome for those of you who struggle with digestive issues and whatnot. Um, so coconut oil is really, really, really good for you. It also has tons of vitamins and minerals in here. Um, so this is a very healthy fat to be eating. So you can, um, again, with MCT oil and coconut oil, you could um, use those when you cook and, you know, when you're cooking your food on the stove, use that as oil. Coconut oil is great for baking because it's just got a yummy coconut flavor. Um, you can put it in your bulletproof coffee in the morning. Um, so lots of options with that. Um, the MCT oil you can get unflavored so you can really add that to anything and not have to worry about the flavor of it. So, okay, next, extra virgin olive oil. Um, this doesn't have a label on it because we actually pressed this and made it ourselves and we are working on getting a label for our bottles and selling this. So I'll let you know when we do and you can grab some, but extra virgin olive oil is also a very, very healthy oil and it's so delicious. Like I love olive oil. I love putting some um, balsamic vinegar in it and some um, herbs and using it as a dip. Oh my gosh, for keto bread, it's so, so good. So olive oil has been known to help reduce heart disease. It also contains um, polyphenols, which act as like antioxidants in your body. So it helps prevent diseases and um, helps your immunity, which is amazing. Um, and it also has been known to help reduce stress, which is really cool. So extra virgin olive oil, make sure you get extra virgin. Um, it's really good for you and it tastes amazing. If you get some good olive oil like, like this one, it's really, really yummy. Okay, ghee, ghee butter. This is what the ghee butter I get looks like. It's a little more expensive, I will admit, but it is totally worth it. Um, so ghee butter is lactose free. They take all the milk derivative, derived, I ever say that derivative, out of it, so there's no lactose in it. So if you struggle with lactose, my husband does, ghee is a great option. Um, and it's got um, lots of fat soluble vitamins and minerals in here. It's made with pink Himalayan salt, which has a lot of minerals in it. And um, it's also been known to help strengthen your bones, which is really cool. But ghee butter tastes amazing. Like when you go to a fancy restaurant and they say, oh, we have a 15 ounce New York or uh, ribeye steak with a clarified uh, butter on top or compound butter um, you're like ooh that's so fancy all they're doing is they're probably using ghee butter and they're putting a little herbs in it to make it like flavor or garlic in it 
and they put it on top of your steak and so you can do that for yourself and I've done that at home I've made steak and put ghee on top OMG with garlic and it's so so good so you can get this on Amazon I'll drop the link and um, really good for you a lot better than other butters out there and um, I would definitely try this you guys some people I've heard some people just like spoon this out of the jar yeah just like ice cream it's real it's a true story all right almond butter yum I know everyone's so into peanut butter but nowadays we're getting more into almond butter because almonds are really good for you and they're better for you than peanuts and I will tell you why this also has sea salt in it which is good um, almond butter or almonds have been known to help reduce bad cholesterol and increase your good cholesterol it also has a lot they also have a lot of magnesium in it which is super good for your heart and um, it, they also have a lot of potassium and they also almonds have a lot more fiber than peanuts do so those are all great things and like on here two tablespoons is four grams of fiber which is pretty good seven grams of protein um, there's no added sugars and that's another thing you have to watch with you know peanut butter you buy is you know that like sweet flavor you get in your peanut butter that's why we love it so much I bet if you look on the back there is sugar in it you got to be careful for that. So you want to make sure there's no sugar. Um, so anyway, almond butter is really good for you. I'm not saying that peanut butter is super bad for you or anything, but um, you know, maybe switch it out and see if you like almond butter. And it's just, I'm not, you know, if you hate it and you can only eat peanut butter, you know, you're not going to die. But you know, check out almond butter, and it's got a little bit more health benefits to it. So I don't know. I don't know. You know, my girls still eat peanut butter here and there. They're not, they're not a big fan of the almond butter, so, you know, it's okay. It's okay. All right, another really good healthy fat is, you know what this is? Avocado. It's like the tiniest avocado in the world, though, but it's the way it is right now. It's just what it is. California, represent. Okay, avocados. I eat at least one of these a day, like a whole one. If they're tiny like this, shoot, I eat three of these a day, but make some guacamole. Avocados are really a great source of fiber and they have more potassium in them than bananas. So that's amazing. Um, they also have 20 different vitamins and minerals and are known to reduce your bad cholesterol. So all avocados are super, super healthy fats and they are so good on sandwiches, on eggs, as like I use this instead of uh, mayonnaise for like chicken salad, guacamole. I mean, you can just, seriously, the sky's the limit, you guys. The sky is the, the limit with these. So get yourself some avocados. I know some people can't stand them. It's, you know, if you can't stand them, you can't stand them, but that's a little crazy. So get yourself some avocado and you are going to love them. All right. Sorry, uh, my phone, my camera died, so I had to charge my camera up a little bit, but we are back in action, and, sorry, back in action, and now for the fun part of this video, I'm going to go over the not-so-good fats and not-so-good things that people may be eating on keto, and these are probably things that you have in your house right now that you might want to rethink. So... Sorry, iced coffee is life, so anyway. Okay, so number one is canola, canola oil, vegetable oil. Now, canola oil and vegetable oil isn't the worst, but it's definitely not the best. Um, these contain trans fats, which lead to heart disease. They do contain um, monounsaturated fats and some omega fats, which are good for you, but they're a much lower count than, let's say, coconut oil or olive oil. Um, so I'm not saying that it's super the worst thing for you, but it's definitely not the best thing for you. So if you if you had the choice to choose between this and you know olive oil, 
definitely go for the olive oil. Uh, um, vegetable oil and canola oil do have traces of trans fat in them, and they've also been known to increase inflammation more, which is something that we are definitely trying to avoid by doing keto. So um, I would try to stay away from it and go for the coconut oil, MCT oil, olive oil. There's a lot of better options than this. So try to stay away from those. Try to stay away from soybean oil, um, canola, canola oil, vegetable oil. And a lot of times when you go out to eat, those are the oils that restaurants use because they're cheaper, a lot cheaper. And so if you're getting something fried or even you know when they cook something on their grill, they probably use those oils on the grill when they're cooking or sauteing. So just be aware of that when you're eating out, you probably are, you know, eating some trans fats and stuff. So, you know, maybe not eat out as much or, or try to order something that doesn't have oils so it's not cooked with oils like um, salads or ask them to, to um, use no oil when they're cooking it so it'd be a little more dry. Also, if you're confused on what trans fats are, um, Trans fats are when they convert a liquid fat into a um, solid fat by adding hydrogen. Hydrogenated oils, which another thing that you can see on items in the store. And what that is, is they, it's, it's how they increase shelf life for um, foods. And they turn a liquid fat into a solid fat by adding, adding hydrogen. That's why it's called hydrogenated oils. Also how trans fat is made. Um, so a lot of places are, and companies are trying to take out trans fat, um, but still be very careful with it and make sure you read the ingredients list. For example, here's a healthy, um, 100% whole wheat mission flour tortillas, right? But you turn it over and you look in the ingredients and the third thing on here is hydrogenated oil, which is trans fat. It's probably less than like 2% maybe and that's why they can put zero grams trans fat on there because I think there's a rule like if it's less than a certain percent, they could say it doesn't not in there. But make sure you read the ingredients list because it is in here, and you don't you don't want to be eating that stuff. So even if something looks healthy, read the label. Make sure you're getting what you are want to be getting. Okay. Anyways, the next thing is mayonnaise. Yum, mayonnaise is so good, so good. But it's not really good for you. Mayonnaise is a big thing on keto. Everyone says eat mayonnaise. But there's other much healthier options than mayonnaise. Soybean oil is the first ingredient in here. Um, so, whole eggs, egg yolks, vinegar, salt, sugar is also in here. So, you really want to be careful with mayonnaise. It is not the best option for you. Not the best fat for you. And there's other options that I'll show you here. I bought this on Amazon and it is avocado oil mayo. It's very good. Made with avocados. And um, let's look at the ingredients on here. Ingredients, avocado oil. A Caged organic eggs, organic egg yolks, sea salt, rosemary extract. That's it. Much better option. Also, I got this one. Avocado, avocado, avocado oil mayo with harissa. So this is a spicy one. You can see it's like got that orange tint to it. This is so good. It's actually pretty spicy. Pretty spicy. If you like spicy, check this out. This is another good option. So there's other options for mayonnaise than just flat out the regular mayonnaise. Another one is um, ranch dressing. I'm sure um, when I started keto, I was down in ranch because I'm like, oh, they say you can have ranch or it's low carb. It's uh, it's what we, we, we need to eat. But you look in the ingredients, vegetable oil, soybean oil, canola oil are the first things on here and there's also sugar in here. So, Again, not the best option. 
taste amazing. And yeah, I mean, I have ranch here and there, but definitely in moderation. Um, and something that I get instead is this cilantro avocado Greek yogurt ranch dressing, which it tastes amazing, guys. This stuff is really good. Um, yeah, it's not your Hidden Valley Ranch, but it's it's got cilantro and avocado in it, so it's really good. And it only has um, 40 calories versus um, 140 calories for two tablespoons. So, I mean, yeah, you can eat more fats, but you still gotta watch your calories. So when you're eating fats like ranch dressing and mayonnaise like this, um, it's really easy to go over calories also. So this has no hydrogenated oils in it, no trans fat. Um, so this is a really good option. I get this at my local store, um, grocery outlet, and um, it's really good. And it's really inexpensive. Let's see here. I think we got one left that I'm going to talk to you guys about. Sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer. Okay, I have a lot of people come at me saying, can I have sugar-free coffee creamer and I used to be like yeah it's fine um you know it's really a low in carbs no sugar right um so yeah it's good it's a good keto option which it's okay like it's not it's okay in moderation you just want to be careful how much you're consuming um because the first ingredient ingredients in here are water corn syrup high olic soybean oil and a bunch of other things that I can't even pronounce which you know is not good so yes it says it doesn't contain sugar but it's got those bad oils in it um so there are much healthier options than the sugar-free vanilla creamer and i love sweet coffee like i have iced coffee right here and i love it sweet i love it vanilla i love it i love coffee so it's really hard for me not to do you know the, the creamer stuff so what i do is I use heavy whipping cream instead with vanilla extract, and um, that's a better option. And they also make tons of um, natural vanilla coffee creamers out there. They're a little more expensive, but they're a lot better for you. Um, so check those out. Even on Amazon, they have a lot of um, creamers. That, like This creamer called Nut Pods is really good, and they have vanilla hazelnut flavor. So check out some other options. Yeah, you might have to spend a couple more dollars, but it's worth it, you guys. If you drink this every day like I used to, um, it's really not good for your body. So anyway, that's my spiel. Um, we covered some good fats that you should be eating and also some things that you might want to rethink and avoid or um, have more in moderation. Um, yes, keto diet is a high fat diet, but make sure that you're eating the right fats and you're eating the healthy fats, the, the fats that are going to help your body work its best and to lose it, lose fat and to um, perform at its optimum levels and to be healthy and to live a long, healthy life. So that's what I wanted to um, help with with this video is to um, teach you guys how to um, make you know the healthiest options possible so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and please I would love to hear feedback from you in the comments um, if you have any other healthy fats or or foods that you should be avoiding on keto I would love to hear them because I'm still learning myself I've been doing keto like almost a year now but I'm still learning about about it and um, how to do it the best way possible. So um, I'd love to hear from you and please hit that subscribe button if um, you're liking my channel and my videos and I would love the support and I will do the same for you. So anyway, my, my camera's about to die again so I will talk to you guys later and see you at the next video. Bye!